Привет! Hello! From, not from Russia, but from Ajman. We're in the Ajman Karsuk and we've been driving around and we've stumbled upon, look this. We've stumbled upon Lada Nivas and the dealer for Lada right here in the UAE and also across the region, in fact. They sold cars in Bahrain, Qatar and other places as well. Um, 700 cars already sold in this region. What are we looking at? We're looking at the Lada Niva. This is the Urban Sahara edition, specially uh, modified for Middle East use, so Middle East spec. It's got electric windows, AC, it's got Nissan AC in it, so plenty powerful enough. Comes with a 1.7 liter engine, tough as anything. Check them out. This one's a bit modified, so it's got the big bumper at the front, uh, space for a winch on there. It's got the side things and lock. They do do modifications, whatever. What I can tell you about this car, 2016 Ladas, 4x4s of course, manual transmissions, and they are priced at uh, 37500 and with that you get a six month uh, warranty and also servicing as well. You can if you don't, six, why six months you're asking? Because these cars tend to get used very heavily and off-road, so they only warrant it for six months. If you don't even want that, if you're not bothered by that, you can save yourself a couple of grand and get it for 35500 so save yourself a bit of money. Where can you get it from? You can get it from this place here. It's called Danax Motors. And uh, I can show you, I can give you the number. There you go. Check it out. That's where it is. Um, they've just almost uh, out of stock. I hear they've got about a dozen cars left in stock at the moment. They've sold 700, but 2017 models are on their way. So if you're interested, come down here and have a look. So this is the car. Look at it. There's a two, this is a two-door version, but there is over there a four-door version as well. Um, solid car. This is the car that drove all over Russia in all kinds of conditions. Got a spare tire on the back here, a little boot, um, a rear seating space. You know, this is something that I've driven a lot of cars. I've driven a lot of European cars. I've actually never driven uh, one of these though, but they are, they are something of a legend in their own lifetime. This one's a well-used demonstrator, as you can see. So it's been around the houses, but uh, it's registered. It works, the key's in it. So I think um, we should pinch it and go for a little exclusive Middle East test drive. Okay, so we are inside the car now and we're joined by Imtishan and also Muhammad Asif, who's a bit of a chaperone. He's going to tell us about the car and how it all works and everything. Because there's levers and stuff down there. This is, this like is old very school. old school. It's off. old school off-roading, isn't it? So where the key is in here, plug it down. This is in neutral and should just start. Yes, there you go. Starts up. There you go. We've got a, we've got a running Lada Niva. This is your first ever test driving a Lada. I, 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 can I, I think I might have driven the Saloon, but never the Niva. So it's a normal H pattern gearbox. Uh, first is it's up. It's very to long the left away here. from you. Yeah, it is quite far away from me, but I've got long arms, so it should be okay. Um, handbrake. Here it is. There's a handbrake. The electric windows down here. Look, this is brilliant. Where's this the is actually AC? for the Middle East. It's down here. So. So we got we turn the knob. This one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yes. There you go. We just turn yeah. the fan on. The fan on. And we have That's, what is this one? This one cold. Is cold. Cold. Right. cold. Okay. Right. So, we're cold. so now cold. how do you fan speed? Most fan speed? Yes, I have. More? Oh, okay, ah, more. Okay. We're working this out. We're working this all, right. all live. Let's keep it on that because otherwise the noise will interfere. Yeah. So we're in the first gear, we're just gonna take it for a little drive around here and clutch up and here we go. Oh very very light clutch, not a problem. A little bit of slippage, a little bit of slippage, but not too bad at all. And um, we're on the move. We're moving in our ladder. We're moving and we've encountered our first off-road obstacle. No, we haven't. It's Massive it's speed, speed bump. bump. Let's see how it is over the speed bump. There you go, man. Lots That's of ground speed. clearance, isn't it? I've got good ride. There actually. you go. We're still in first, so let's go race. into second. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a pull there. One of the things the guy said when we were looking at the car, he said, it's a man's car. <laughs> It's a man's yeah, car. You feel very, it's a man's car, the, yeah. No, it's, it's the lady's car. <laughs> it, it, it feels very, I feel very manly. I feel very Russian manly. Oh, there's a stingray there. We'll come back. Oh, that, see, see, see. You've got to pay attention. Pay attention to what you're doing. It's only a I've little 1.7. 1.7. 1. 7. 1. 7. What are we talking about here? 1.7, what is How it? much horsepower, engine power? How much? Uh, 92,000. 92, 90, 90, 92 horsepower? horsepower. Yeah, horsepower. Oh, 92 horsepower. horsepower. Yeah. Okay. So in front of me, I have actually got a rev counter, believe it or not, which is red line. It's a luxury, a lot five. of switch gear. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff for a Nada. I'm very surprised that it's got a lot of things in here. It's got a fuel um, gauge, it's got a temp got gauge. fuel gauge, it's got a temp gauge. Oh, what else? The AC is actually not bad. We've got a little bit of a curve here. Let's check it around. It's like, well, a little bit of body roll, but it grips nicely. No issues at all. Let's get up into third. And we're motoring. Check it out. This is brilliant. We actually are motoring. We are actually motoring. This is very, <laughs> very good. Uh, so we have a rev counter, which is redlined at five and a half thousand RPM. We have got a speedometer here, which has got a very optimistically indicated uh, 200 kilometers an hour. Is that kilometers? It is kilometers. Oh, actually, we're going to first. I'm not sure if it's going to move away. It's got slight slippage on the clutch, isn't it? Just slightly, I think. Um, but otherwise, not an issue. 
Easy to the, drive? The, the clutch actually is very light. Let me just fix the mirror there. Yeah. So the clutch actually is very, very light. It is actually very easy to drive. The steering is power steering. Power steering. Yeah, power steering, ABS so brake. no problem. ABS brakes. Yes. Yeah. Wow, so it's got ABS brakes as well. Well, that's no because issue. it's got some left. Bit of, bit, of, bit of go as well. I mean, the, I mean to be honest, that's not. I'm not even using full throttle there. So it's back got again, torque, yeah, actually. Got plenty of torque actually. Okay, so we'll just clutch in for that over the speed bump. Just taking a moving away in second. Oh, no, no, no. Not used to that. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't the way to do it. Yeah. My mistake. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Start it up again. Let's go back into first. Okay. So really at slow speed you need you need to give it first. There's, I think there's a little bit of slippage on the clutch, that's what it is. But there we go, there you go. Blame the tools. It's not my fault. It's never mind. Falling down! <laughs> My camera's falling down. Oh, oh, it's falling down quite a bit. Wait, hang on, hang on. Right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna edit the film here. The film will be edited here. Okay, we're, you're back with us. So we had a little bit of an edit. Nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Nothing went wrong. Nothing, nothing happened. went wrong. Everything is fine. Camera didn't fall down at all. Nothing like that happened. But so to drive, I mean, it's not too bad. I'll just give it a little bit more revs. We're up to about three and a half, four thousand. It's talking. And it is moving. It is definitely moving. So you know, quite surprising actually that it is actually moves. Yeah. I mean. One of the left, things left, that people think left, left. Well, let's go left. We've got an indicator here. Yes, we do have an indicator here. Yeah. And uh, we we'll check if it's clear on the right. Good visibility in this thing, actually, because well, it's an old-style it yeah, it? old thing with a lot of glass area around it. Here we are. We're joining a main road now. And uh, going right onto the main road. Here we go. This one or this left, one? Left, left, this left, one, left, yeah. Left. There we go. So we're just doing the main road, main highway here. This is actually a car with a fair bit of weight on it. It's got like a lifted suspension, yeah. bigger, heavier tires, and a steel bumper. And one of the things they were modifying a car in there is what were they doing to it? They were just doing the same sort of thing to it, but slightly. Yeah. So there we go. Now we're throwing this thing around the roundabout. From third to second, it does move around a bit. Suspension is quite soft, but then of course that gives it a lot of uh, ground clearance. A lot of ground clearance and also a lot of uh, what do you call it? Travel. Travel, that's the Travel. word. Travel. Wow, this is a bit rolly. This rolly it's a bit rolly it's, fun. it's like all the old movies you ever think of where you see cars leaning on their door handles. Find these fresh. Russian movies, there's always somebody being chased by a ladder and he's rolling around and now you know what it's like inside the car. It's, like the, the, ride's quite good, the, the ride, but that's the offshoot though, isn't it? That the ride is it's actually soft. really good. Yeah. But it's really, really comfortable. Actually it's really easy to drive. Yeah. And surprisingly, I know smooth. the reputation was that they were horrible cars, but actually, it's no, quite nice. No, it's actually very easy to drive. Yeah. I mean, you say it's a man car, but it's got power steering. The clutch is actually quite light. Once you get used to that biting point, the gear lever is not. The gear lever needs a little bit of a manly push and pull about it, but otherwise, it's not too much of an issue. But generally, it's okay. What do you reckon this would be like in the desert? Because he was I saying a lot of people are using this for the desert. I think right? it would go most places. I think there's no one. Yeah, definitely the desert. So we're going to go into the sand. Drive, so. Full time four wheel drive. It's got uh, diff locks and uh, high and low ratio. Yes. Into the off the road? Yes, off the road. Off the road anywhere you like. It's a bit dirty here. Yeah? Well, you know. Hey okay, ho. So we can. Uh, okay, let's it's go. It's full time four wheel drive. Not so early. Not so early. There you go. Not so so we are now just off-roading in, in a very dirty piece of desert here, but not the most picturesque of places, but not an issue at all. Very light, very easy. You can go to the right route. You know? Actually, let's go back up and let's go down there. So we're just doing a little bit of gravel, a little bit of sand, and yeah, yeah, that's we can good, go here. Yeah, no problem. No, no, it's fine. That's fine? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. So we're just following a little hard, track, so, yeah. and yeah, it's, it has been raining, so it's fairly easy, but not an issue though. It's very dirty around here, isn't it? Okay, so this, good, this is a bit of a drop, but no, yeah, we're yeah, fine, yeah, no, no we're fine, we're fine. That's all very good. So we are it's exploring right, really right, right, right there. Yeah, that's his, that seems to be his off-road test this track. This is off-road test track. A little bit of noise, a little bit of drama, but nothing to worry about, no issues. It feels issues. like a donkey. It feels like yeah, it feels like it will just, you just point it and it will just go wherever you want it to go sort of thing. Um, I'm purely following the instructions of our navigator it's in the back. Anywhere, 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 yeah. Yeah, anywhere, no problem. But it's not really an issue, you know, and it just seems to be coping without any it's any a, complaint whatsoever. And only a little 1.7. 1. 1.7, 1. still in four high. Yeah. And up, up. Go up, go up, go, 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 go up, yes, yes, yes. go up, far, 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 far. Still in second gear, in second gear and climbing. pulling it, it's climbing, it's climbing. Yeah. I'm not going in the water because it'll get really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, you know, just literally turned into a slope there, about 30 degree slope, 
with, and still in second without any excessive power, no issues whatsoever, went straight up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, literally, just it's just plodding along. It's like, I'm not even having to work it. I'm just leaving it in second and it's absolutely fine. Is there a way out from here? No. No. So we'll have to get, we have yeah. to get out of here, yeah? Yeah. yeah oh, this is disgusting. Yeah. So we... <laughs> Push it and down. Ah, push down to get reverse. First time in the reverse, yeah. That's our reverse gear, and oh, actually, let me go this way. So, so, what an extraordinary little thing. No, no, we'll head out now because we've done uh, quite a bit. Um, we'll try and bring you a bit more of a review. They're working on another car, aren't they? Which yeah. they're modifying Even at the moment. Even more modified than this yeah. one. This is actually the first of their modified car. Now we are talking about modified Lada. Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> what has this world come to? And uh, yet, I got to be honest, this is a lot more interesting. There are a lot more of the posh off-road as I've been seeing lately. But you know, at the end of the day, 35,000 dirhams. Can't go wrong. Look, you want to go to the desert, buy one of these. 35,000. Hang on, that's the way, yeah. No, you can actually go, go, we, we can go anywhere, really. Yeah. I mean, really, we can just literally go anywhere. Right? That's what it's like. The really it's a really, really horrible bit. There we go. This is yeah. fine. Hopefully, there's no nails in any of that stuff. Ooh, I feel there's a lot of stuff in the boot. There's a lot of stuff in the boot, yeah. But this is a workhorse. I mean, it's, I am it's with a demo car. I'm the off road driver. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Any old time, man. Any old time. I mean, your sense of direction is just. Like, yeah, well. I'm just trying to follow tracks, right? Yeah, but the man, this, the man may not have known where he was going. <laughs> well, the donkey doesn't seem to mind. And I'm doing all of that in second, just modulating the throttle. Just the modulating the throttle, nothing more. And back onto the road. Back onto the road where I'm comfortable. No clicking, no switches, no, no terrain response. No terrain response, nothing at all. Absolutely back on the road. fine. No issue at all. Was it this one or next yeah, one? This one. This one, alright. So here we go. Brakes, heavy on the brakes. Dan into second. We're rallying now. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, this is brilliant. This is a really, really fun little car. For the money, you just really can't complain, can you? 35,000 dirhams, man. 35,000 dirhams. I keep saying this. 37,000 if you want the warranty, but let's be honest, who needs a warranty? So anything oh. more to add to this? Uh, I think the question is where can you get service and looked after? Apparently yeah. the man claims he's got garages in all the Emirates. Let's have a little word with him as well. Let's have a chat with him uh, again. Just at the end of this video, we'll just, we'll just do a little catch up, little few uh, questions uh, we'll put directly to the guy that's importing his car. Fyodor. Fyodor. Fyodor, that's Fyodor. the guy. That's his name. Yeah. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed that because this has been our first go in this car. It's a bit of an impromptu road test. We weren't planning this, but we'll we thought, hey, yeah, yeah. is it in here? Yeah. yeah. And um, we'll get it back and hopefully you enjoy the review. Hi guys, I'm here with Fyodor Morosov. Morosov. Yes. Morosov. <laughs> How Perfect. you doing? <laughs> yes, and yes. this is the man, he's here at Danax Motors, Motors here yes. in Ajman, in Ajman Karsuk. We're just on the border with Umul Quain. Check him out, he's the man and he's the guy bringing in these ladders. This is amazing. How many ladders you said you brought here? No, it's many cars. Uh -huh. I, I don't know exactly, no, many cars for any country. It's, uh, I have hub here uh -huh. and sold for export for Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain. Qatar, Algeria, Kuwait, Bahrain, all of these cars you supply. Algeria, Tunis, 2016 and, uh, yes, Laden Evas. So yes, and the there's here in, uh, in Dubai, I sold maybe 52 cars. Yes. 52 cars I sold, sold only, here. only here, used uh -huh, here, yes. Uh -huh. And how do you look after them? Are you doing the servicing as well? or? Yes, of course, I uh -huh. have uh, four garages. In four one garage? In, yes, uh -huh. one in Dubai, one uh -huh. in Sharjah, two in Ajman and big stock parts. Right, All right. parts available here in BMW Road. You have everything. It's very cheap, yes. Where is your workshop in uh, Dubai? In Dubai, I'm um, backside uh, Times Square. Oh, behind Times Square? Yes, oh, yes. right, right, okay. And the uh, charge backside uh, Safir Mall. Safir Mall, okay. Yes, okay. and here. As well. Area, huh? But you don't have a showroom in uh, Dubai, eh? No, no only I don't here. Have, no, only this here, is the place. Yes. Yeah. I have two, sh yeah. this two showroom. And how many cars you have left now? No, only 12, uh, 16 cars. 12 or 16 cars. Yes, and then, but the 2017 model is yes, coming. Yes, it's coming after one month. After one month it's yes, coming. Yes, it's coming. And what modifications did you make for uh, GCC market? This is only Urban Sahara. This Urban is special, Sahara. Uh, this different radiator, different uh -huh. thermostat, uh -huh. and full option power window, power steering, and uh, Power windows, power, power steering, power mirror, yes. Power mirrors? Uh, yes. Wow, yes, it's got yes. power mirrors as well. Yes, the exactly. Lima. That's amazing. It's car for men. That's Only for men. men. Only car for men. men. <laughs> <laughs> but the power very steering makes it yes. easy to drive. Yes, and yes. the clutch is very easy, actually. Yes, it's it's quite light. It's you know? for, uh, for desert number one. Yeah. Wanted desert. Very good in the desert. Yeah. And off-road, uh -huh. baby. Yeah. G63, small. Uh -huh. Just... <laughs> Small G63. You see, it's you see it's this song? It's a shrunken. It's a shrunken. It's a shrunken. There you yes, go. It's yes. It's a shrunken G63. <laughs> and you also you're doing modifications as well. Yes, uh, body kit. Body kit. Available body kit and uh -huh. the front bumper. bumper, rear bumper, winch, all all side step, uh -huh. roof and snorkel as well. 
Yes, after three days you come uh, back. Yeah, I, you have another one. Yes, I show you. Well, maybe we'll perfect, do that. Maybe perfect. we'll do that. Number or if one, you yes. plan to come down there yeah. and find uh, yes. Fyodor, then you can have a look at that car. Thank you so much for letting us have a go Welcome. in the car. Nice to meet it's you. Wonderful Welcome. to see these yes. ladders here. Thank you very much. Thanks. You know? Thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon. Yes. Thanks, Thanks. so much for watching, Bye, guys. guys. <laughs> Follow him at Danak. Do you have a website or anything? Yes. What's your website? The next, the next something. No. Google, Google it. Yes, Google yes, it. <laughs> we'll put it in the comments. We'll put it yes, in the yes, comments. Yes, we'll put it in the description below. But yes. thanks so much for watching. This is Murtering Middle East. Follow us on all the usual channels: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just search for Murtering Middle East, and also, of course, on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Shazad Sheikh. You can also follow me. And behind the camera is Imtishan Jado. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one.